All right, thank you everyone for coming. And if we could uh, just turn off our uh, webcams, we'll, we'll be back later, everyone. Yes. Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to the Community Affairs Committee's virtual open house. My name is Amory Queenie, and I am the CAC chair. And I want to thank you for joining us today. So on behalf of the team, uh, we appreciate your attendance. And this program is being recorded and it will be made available. So today we'll um, introduce the team. You'll, you'll meet, you've met us um, informally. We'll tell you a bit more about ourselves. We'll discuss the CAC goals for 2020. 21. We'll also discuss some new programs and services that we've been working on uh, to, to improve our services. Also, we'll talk about upcoming CAC events. And as you know, it's a very busy time right now for STC communities with the awards and budgets. So um, we'll talk about some important community dates. And then we'll finish up with the discussion and some time for Q&A. And I just want to mention that uh, we will hold our questions to the end, but please post any questions or comments you have in the panel. And Erin Galilee, who's our um, technical manager, and you know her as our STC uh, Communities and Membership Director, she will be monitoring the panel. And you know, depending on the question, uh, I might answer the questions during the presentation or wait to the end. So I, I think it's not an understatement to say that this has been an unsettled, unprecedented time. And I took this photo probably in May in a town near me. And Marie, I, I, yes, I'm sorry, uh, your screen is not being shared at the moment. It might have, as we did the webcams, it might have adjusted. Oh, okay. Shall I, let's see. Is it showing now? Yes, it is. Um, shall I go back? If you wanted to start on those beginning slides just so they can see it, of course. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. I'll just go to the agenda again so you can, so you can see this along with me. Um, as I said, we've had an informal introductions, but we'll tell you a little bit more about ourselves. Uh, we'll have our CAC goals, talk about what's new, and uh, talk about upcoming CAC events. And of course, uh, just a reminder on some important community dates coming up, and then we'll have time for discussion. So this is the picture I was hoping that you would see. Um, as I said, this year has been an unsettled, unprecedented time. And I took this photo in May in a town near me, and I think it sums up how, how this year has been going. You know, we have this gentleman here with a mask on, and he looks a little perplexed, even though, you know, he's got the mask and the sunglasses. He's looking at these ducks, and he, you can just hear him, maybe he's thinking, what's up with you ducks? You know, uh, the ducks are social distancing, it seems. And so, like I said, I thought this kind of just was an amusing photograph that uh, kind of summed up for me kind of the unusualness of the year. And before we begin, I'd just like to ask you how you're doing. You know, uh, some states have returned to um, going back to work. Some of you are still working virtually. Are your, stu are your kids in school? Are they at home? So why don't we just take a minute and if you could, you know, just type in the chat panel or the, uh, the panel how, how, how you're doing. It would be nice to hear. Okay. 
And so Aaron, what sorts of um, responses did we get? Okay, we're seeing that not everybody's in the US from Melissa. So we have some international people with us today. Um, oh. People still working from home, completely remote. Some are not working and are searching for employment. Um, doing pretty well from Christine. Um, we have Mary Kay who just said they went backwards in their phases. So they had some things open and now things are closing back up. <laughs> Steve says he's hiding from home. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Yeah, and from here I see that um, still working folks. from home. Oh, yeah. I see still working from home from the panelists. Uh, same here, most of us are still, uh, John's taking classes online and doing well. Okay, so it seems like we're all in different phases. Thank you for sharing. And now I'd, I'd like uh, to introduce you to our great team here. And I, I think I'll just start and and then we'll just, you know, go clockwise. So I'm honored to serve as your CAC chair. You know, I've been with STC for over 12 years and communities have always been a part of my STC experience. And I've been a member, a volunteer and an officer. So, you know, I value the communities and the friendship it brings and just the growth in career. And um, most of my tech comm career has been with uh, Johnson & Johnson in uh, medical devices. And uh, you know that brought me to Indiana, California, and my, of course, my home state of New Jersey. And so the constant is I've always been with uh, STC. So that was a nice thing that you can move and you could still be with the connections that you've made. Uh, several years ago, I started my own consulting business, and so now I'm, I'm back in New Jersey. And now um, I'll turn this over to Alex. Good evening. I'm Alex Garcia. I'm the uh, CAC Vice Chair this year. Um, I've been with the CAC for the last uh, two seasons, two years, um, so I'm excited to come back. Um, at the Florida chapter, I've held pretty much every position. Um, available in the chapter. Um, starting, I started off as a student member back in 2004 and have uh, st stuck with the chapter ever since, um, but was former president, uh, treasurer, uh, hospitality chair, newsletter editor, pretty much everything. So if you ever have any questions about um, chapter operations or organizational knowledge, uh, I'm here to help. Um, Career-wise, I've been pretty much my entire career with uh, Lockheed Martin as a technical communicator. Before that, I was an engineer on the space shuttle program, so um, exciting career. Um, and I'm happy to be here. Um, and like I said, any questions, let's let me know. Okay, thank you, Alex. And now mm -hmm. we'll go to Danielle. Greetings and salutations, everyone. Uh, I'm Danielle Villegas. I'm the immediate past president of the STC chapter in Philadelphia. Uh, Emory and I are the Jersey girls on the team, so Jersey strong. Um, my, my role as uh, listed here is uh, social media director for the CAC. Uh, it's my first year with the CAC. I'm also a uh, first year member of the STC Education Committee. Um, similar to Alex, I feel like I've done most of, the, I, I know I haven't done all the jobs in the chapter, but I've done most of them. So uh, I guess my specialty is doing uh, a lot of the programming, doing, uh, I was the one who's run uh, STC Conduit, which is the Mid-Atlantic Regional uh, conference for the past couple of years. Uh, this year we didn't do it because of the pandemic, but um, I've done the sponsorship for that. I've done a lot of different things for the chapters. So, um, you know, I know that Anne Marie is going to be going over some, some of everybody's specialties. So um, glad to be here and look forward to hearing from everyone. Okay, thank you, Danielle. And now we'll go to Jamie. Hi, everyone. I'm Jamie Sagan, and I'm proud to be a part of the CAC uh, this year. Uh, my role this year will be basically helping out where needed as a director. So, in fact, next week I'll be hosting a 
a virtual little gathering, little fun gathering, Halloween related. And Anne Marie will talk a little bit more about that um, this, today. But in any case, I'm involved with uh, the Instructional Design and Learning SIG, where I am currently the treasurer. I also help with surveys and social media. I'm also a vice president of the South Central Texas chapter. So I just recently got involved with chapter activity this year. So this is a wonderful opportunity for me to learn more about how they work. And I've also been involved at the society level um, from being part of the um, Paysetter and CAA Awards Committee to being a member of various task forces. And um, this is just a great opportunity for me to learn from you all. And I look forward to working with this team this year. Okay, thank you, Jamie. And we'll now move to John. Hi everyone, I'm John Clement. Uh, I am a current member of the STC Florida chapter as an active member and also a current student at the University of Central Florida. So I've been part of the Florida chapter for a bit over a year now and it has uh, just transitioned me into being a volunteer for the first time at STC, which I'm excited for. And with my current experience as a student, I also lead at the Future Technical Communicative Club at UCF, where we've been able to host events for students get them connected to professionals because the club is partnered with STC and so on and so forth. So I'm excited to use my experience both as a student and as a member of the STC Florida chapter to really just make sure that the student chapters shine this year and hope in any way that I can. Great. Thank you, John. And so we'll go to uh, Lori Meyer. Hi everyone, um, I'm Lori and I have been a member of STC for many years, actually more than one decade to tell you the truth. Um, and I have been a member of many STC chapters and SIGs over those years. Um, I've held just about every position that's available in any community. Um, I am now on my third chapter presidency. Um, I'm currently president of the Rochester chapter. I'm former president of East Bay chapter and Washington DC, Baltimore. Um, I've been a chapter secretary, um, uh, co-manager for conferences, uh, communication manager. So I, I have many different perspectives on um, what communities mean and how they operate. And I'm really happy to be part of the CAC. Um, I'm an ad hoc director, which means I just kind of help out as much as my schedule allows. And I really appreciate having that flexibility. but. One of my goals is to help make the community experience meaningful, both for the leaders and the members, and to make it, it feel like SDC is, is, is a constant and valuable part of anybody's professional life. Okay, thank you, Lori. And on to Roger. Hi, good afternoon, or good morning, or uh, good evening, uh, whichever time zone you're in. Uh, my name is Roger Interior, and I'm the uh, CAC webmaster for this year, or for the next for the for this term. Um, I used to be part of the CAC, um, I'd say a few years back, uh, and assisted with the digital technologies. Um, and um, I've been an STC member since 2008. Um, also presented on a couple of webinars in the past, and have uh, helped out with the uh, summit track um, as a proposal reviewer and was a summit track chair for uh, 2017 when we were in uh, Washington, DC. Um, so a lot of my background is helping out with like the digital technology pieces that we have. I've been on um, a couple of, uh, of uh, chapters in the past and, and have been members and basically just, I, I love websites, I love technology. So if there's anything that there is that uh, that you need help with when it comes to troubleshooting something, um, I'm also helping out uh, Danielle when it comes to integrating our uh, website into all the social media aspects that we have. Okay, thank you, Roger. And now we'll, we'll go to Erin. Hello, everybody. My name is Erin Galilee. I'm the membership director um, and Community Relations Director at STC. So I'm on STC staff and I'm the liaison to the CAC. Uh, so I work very closely with Anne Marie um, and our other CAC chairs as they're appointed um, as a part of my job with STC. And 
that has allowed me to also get to know her team this year. And so I'm excited to help them with their initiatives that they'll be doing um, over this next membership season and um, helping them and helping you tackle some of the issues that you're experiencing, your highs and your lows, um, so that we can support you as our chapter leaders and um, help strengthen your place within STC membership. So we're grateful for you guys attending today and us letting letting us get to know you guys a little bit better. And if you have any issues, please do not hesitate to reach out to me at any time at membership at sdc.org um, or Emory, and we will help you through any issue that you are experiencing. We're here for you. Great, thank you, Erin. And now Todd. Yep. Hi, everybody. My name is Todd DeLuca. I've been a longtime member of STC and a pretty active uh, volunteer, leader, participant, speaker, presenter, uh, jack of all kinds of things the last few years. So um, I'm also with Amory, a member, a director on the board. So I'm acting as kind of a liaison between uh, this group and the board, but also offering help and assistance on any special projects, like something that we'll be mentioning here shortly during this presentation and other um, events there. So I'm just kind of a catch-all role to kind of help provide input, support, and assistance and you know help transition anything I can do to um, bring our communities together and recognize I've been a member and leader within the chapters and communities so I understand the point of view from everybody else so glad to be uh, a part of this group. Okay thank you Todd and that's our community affairs committee and uh as Todd had mentioned, and I think everyone else has, you know, we're looking forward to uh, to working with you this year. And thanks, Todd, for reminding everyone. I forgot to mention I'm a board member for 2020-22. So that's our team. And we've been working on uh, some goals, and we have several CAC goals, but uh, we've identified for this year. I think I could summarize them in two main goals. So I'd like to do that for brevity. Um, the first is make community leaders' jobs easier. I think you'd all be grateful for that. And here are some of the services that we hope to provide that will help us uh, reach our goals. First is, of course, uh, the CAC has always given, provided uh, leadership webinars, and we'll continue that. Uh, we've had several this fall. Uh, Lori Meyer had uh, presented one. Um, Bobby Werner had done one on LinkedIn, um, Social Navig uh, Sales Navigator. And of course, our last one, um, well, this month was with James Bosquet, STC Treasurer, who, uh, who gave a, an informative webinar on our upcoming budget season. So look for a future uh, webinars we'll be we'll be having them also of course uh, we will continue the, the tradition of the leadership day and i know last year out of necessity uh, there was a virtual leadership program and that was very popular with everyone and so we would like to continue that uh, regardless if you know we all hope that we see each other in atlanta but we will have some virtual uh, leadership program this year. Of course, as our team members have already mentioned, um, they're available for guidance and outreach. You know, there's a lot of experience and um, that's one thing we enjoy doing is, is sharing our skills and sharing our experiences to help you. And we also have a monthly newsletter and that newsletter, uh, provides you with upcoming CAC events, also um, important dates for communities. Uh, as I mentioned, these upcoming months are gonna be very busy. And so, uh, and, and for, for example, this October, our, news, our newsletter this month had a lot of information about upcoming uh, awards that are available and the deadlines. And Danielle, as our social media, director has updated the CAC distribution list. And she based that on the latest information uh, given to us by STC, which in turn was uh, provided by you. 
And uh, Danielle did a great job of updating and kind of trying to scrub the, the list. However, there are some uh, leaders have multiple emails and uh, Danielle left the emails, but I just wanted to mention that to you. So when you have time and if you have unused emails or um, multiple emails that you no longer want to receive um, the newsletter and announcements from, please contact Danielle at communication at cac dash stc.org and tell her which emails that are redundant and she can archive them for you. And uh, I think, you know, it'll reduce your emails, which is always a nice thing. And then we make, we can uh, ensure that we have a, the most current list. Likewise, if you're listening today and if you're a community leader and you did not receive our October newsletter, uh, please contact Danielle again at communication at cac-stc.org and she can add you to our distribution list. Um, it's important to, to be on our distribution list because in addition to the newsletters, we often send out uh, other important information. And of course, we have our website as Roger had mentioned. And we have um, information there and uh, recordings on the leader re leadership resources tab. You can find recordings of past leadership programs and handouts and slides. So if you're thinking about an issue or you want to have some new ideas, you know, remember our leadership uh, resources tab can, can provide you some additional information. So as you can see, this goal focuses on skill sets and operating the communities, right? Well, we all know there is more to a successful community than just skill sets and processes. There's also a sense of community. And I think we all in our introductions had mentioned this. And this is what's special about STC is that um, you can be a member of, of a community, whether it's a, a geographical chapter that uh, or uh, a SIG, which I've been in very involved with, and now community of practice or community of interest. So it's important that part of many members STC experience is with the community. So our goal is to build a sense of community within the leadership, because I think a lot of times, uh, you know, we're busy with our chapters or we're busy with our SIGs and we don't really have a chance or opportunity to meet other leaders. You know, we usually meet them at the summit or perhaps the leadership program. But what we want to do is to continue the virtual socials and meetups that uh, I think Todd DeLuca was hosting last year. We would like to continue that so you can just have meet people informally and get to know the other leaders and uh, within the chapters and SIGs. And Jamie is going to be uh, hosting a virtual meetup later this month. Also, a way to build community, of course, is through our virtual um, communications and social media. And uh, We'll talk about Slack in a moment. Todd is going to update us. But again, uh, Danielle is working on the, uh, with social media postings to keep everyone informed and build a sense of community. And finally, uh, incentive program. Now, this is something new. And so I'll be discussing this uh, a few slides later. But a way to build community is uh, is our special incentive program that we are going to unveil later this year. So now, Todd, if you'd like to just uh, briefly uh, talk about the STC Slack workspace. Yes, of course, happy to do so. Uh, thanks, Anne-Marie. So in case everyone didn't know, and what this has been sent out, but this is gonna be a short update. And just to let everyone know here too, we're also gonna be working with um, and getting back in touch with a little bit more detail on the setup for our SIG COI community of interest 
um, channel setups within Slack on that. But in the meantime, you know, we didn't want to kind of hold out till everything was perfect and set up. And we really want all our members in STC to be engaging with each other. And that's within and inside and outside of, you know, the various communities. So we have posted and we have a free STC Slack workspace out there that was recently um, sent to all STC members. It is open to all STC members. It was in a recent newsletter with a link to join Slack, which is at the bottom of this slide as well. And we'll be in touch with people, but if you don't have that invite um, to, for participating within the Slack workspace, we'll make sure we get this to you. But this was publicized for all STC members. Um, we're really, this is, you know, along the lines of what Anne-Marie said, is working towards making, you know, the engagement of the broader audiences and members and other affiliated people um, easier and virtual and more transparent and open. And we look forward to really setting up spaces for, you know, initially with our COI, SIG uh, communities for a place for all their members to engage with. So we will be in touch with all, with those COI, SDC, SIG leaders on, you know, making sure they understand how the spaces are worked up, descriptions for their members and invites for those members. So we can kind of help work on getting those folks engaged within this virtual uh, workspace and collaborating and engaging together with other people where we think this is gonna be a great opportunity to identify and work with and engage and recruit uh, members and volunteers and leaders within those workspaces as well within those communities too. So we think this is gonna be a great opportunity going forward and something that uh, we expect will grow and increase participation so stay tuned on that um, you know you can engage this the, the CAC crew for a little bit more information but it's out there it's available hopefully you've joined if you haven't joined or received the email uh, the link below is on this slide and we can get that to you as well so um, yeah we are excited to kind of get this kicking off and seeing how it can um, evolve and get everyone's joining in Okay, thank you, Todd. And like Todd mentioned, the uh, joining, the information is at here at the bottom and we can send it to you also. So yeah, that is an exciting new chapter with STC. And so we're looking forward to more using of that. So also I did mention at the beginning that we've, we've been working on some new programs and new services for you, working hard. And so now let's unveil them. What's new? Well, we have two new things going on here. The first is the CAC outreach chart. And the CAC team is excited to introduce this new service. And as you heard from the team introductions, the CAC team has impressive credentials and um, they may be modest and may not want to brag a bit, but I'm going to do some bragging for them. I think they have a lot to offer. Um, they've been leaders, as you've heard, officers and have experience with student outreach and uh, many experiences with the communities and the responsibilities. So what this CAC outreach char chart will do is it will give you direct access to the entire team for guidance, for feedback, helpful tips, um, lessons learned. Uh, this is will be available. It's available now for all uh, community leaders. And so some examples, if you go to the chart, it's based on topics that are relevant to communities and they're very in general and high level things like community formation uh, membership strategy planning all the things that go into a successful uh, community whether it's a chapter or it's a sig of a community of practice or a sig community of interest so where you can find this um, outreach chart is on the cac website and it's under leadership resources and it's the first selection so all you have to do and i hope you do go and and check it out and and use it uh, 
you can click on the chart, you'll see the topics that, um, that each team member is available to be engaged with. And you can just click on the name of the team member and you'll have the email or just click on the, um, the X under the uh, team member's name and that'll also bring up the, the email. And thank you, uh, Danielle, for, for uh, loading that, uh, the chart onto the website and, and putting that success, the um, convenient links there. So this is a new service. And so we will be assessing it during the year. So it may evolve like all new things and the chart may change based on how you use it and of course your suggestions. So like I said, we're excited to use this to start um, sharing with you. I think this is a good opportunity. Uh, you know, you may be thinking of starting a new program or you want some new ideas. And so just reach out to us. And uh, like I said, for some guidance, helpful tips, lessons learned, and uh, I hope that you'll, you will use this. And I hope you'll also give us some feedback on how, um, if we can improve this, this service for you. So the second item that I'd like to talk about, before I do though, I'd like to ask you another question. And if someone asked you, what is an STC community leader? What is one or two words that you would use to describe an STC leader? And if you could just please type that in the uh, chat panel and we'll, we'll look for your answers. Deborah said mentor. Melissa said someone who cannot resist volunteering. Ah. <laughs> Mary Kay, an unofficial me mentor. Okay. Uh, Walt Hennig, a uh, guide, a listener, a reminder, Shri, admirable. Ah. Okay. Yeah, and I'm looking to admirable. Okay. Thank you. Well, I came up with also some def some descriptions. A manager, of course, we're all managers with leadership, facilitator, planner, uh, innovators. You know, we have the Pace Setter Awards every year. And so we have a lot of innovation um, just within our, our association. And of course, it's, there's much more. And people, you know, came up with uh, certain uh, descriptions for words. But also, and it's interesting that I didn't see the description volunteer, because that's basically what we all are, right? Every treasurer, program manager, membership manager, president, um, facilitator is, is a volunteer. The CAC team is it, we're all volunteers. And so we do this because, you know, we love STC and we love supporting our communities. So we serve the community's members, but we also balance, right? Careers, family, academics, if we're returning to school or still in school and other interests, hobbies. And so we're doing all that while we're providing uh, services for our community members. So in other words, I think you can be described as a superhero. Yes, you all listening are superheroes. Now you, not, you may not have the fancy costumes and you may not have the superpowers of x-ray vision and perhaps flying over your town, but all that you do for STC and for your membership, I think qualifies you as superheroes. And that's what our new program, our second new initiative um, will be this year. We're starting and we're gonna be launching an incentive program and we call it the STC Superheroes Journey. And I can thank Danielle for coming up with that theme. Uh, 
as a team, we were working on some ideas of, of how to name this incentive program. And Danielle came up with superheroes. And you know, I think it fits perfectly. And the project leaders for this, uh, for this program are Roger Renteria and Danielle. And basically what we're going to have is a CAC, Community Affairs Committee incentive program that recognizes all the hard work you do and all the volunteering, all your contributions, and also celebrates the power of community. So briefly, um, you will earn points for participating in CAC-related activities. For instance, you could be attending a webinar and, and receive points. Perhaps you're going to be a presenter and you could receive points. When you get to a certain level of points, you will receive virtual badges um, at different stages of your superhero journey. Now, these badges are going to be very special because they're going to be designed especially for the program. They're going to be original. No one else will have them except you and the co and your colleagues and fellow superhero STC leaders. And I don't want to give away any more information. I just want to give you enough information to pique your interest because later this year, uh, we will have, as befitting the superheroes, we're going to have an official launch and we'll talk about the entire program and how you can participate. And, and we hope that you do. And so we will be launching soon. Now, I, I do want to mention some, uh, Jamie had mentioned earlier, some upcoming CAC events. Next week, well, yes, next week, October 27th, Jamie is going to be hosting our first virtual meetup for the 2020-21 season. And this will be fun. It's just a fun way to gather. We're going to celebrate Halloween a bit early. And so we have here, bring your favorite witch's brew and wear something festive, work friendly for Halloween. You can register. The registration is open. It's free, of course. And you can register on the STC Leadership Program 2020 webpage or on our website. And I think for anyone who's attended one of Jamie's popular presentations at the summit, because she is a very popular presenter there, you know this is going to be a special event. So I hope you all um, register and join Jamie. So lastly, before we open up for discussion, uh, I did want to bring and remind you of some important dates because this season to the end of the year and first quarter of next year, it's going to be a very busy time, as you know, for community leaders and for the STC communities. So here are some of the dates. Um, of course, the budget season is open. Aaron has already sent out uh, the budget packets to all the leaders, and so you should have them now. And the uh, due date for your budget is October 30th. Um, if you have not received your budget information, please contact Aaron. Also, in your community, if you are looking to honor a member of your community as an associate fellow, that uh, application due date is the 2nd of November. And then the Distinguished Community Service Awards for longtime contributions to a community. And again, if you want to honor one of your community members, that due date is November 6th. And of course, on January 31st is the due date for the Community Achievement Awards and the Community Pace Setter Awards. So like I said, a very busy time for all. So in conclusion, before we turn on our, our webcam again and open it up for discussion, thank you very much for attending. I know that everyone's working and um, everyone's very busy. So we do appreciate you taking the time and the interest to, to join us today. Uh, we very much appreciate that. And so now we're, uh, we'll just open it up for discussion and we'd like to hear 
from you if you have suggestions of what we can do to improve our services or if you have some uh, great idea for a new a topic we're always looking for webinar topics and presenters so right now i think we're just going to open this up for discussion and q a and so i guess we can all turn on our webcams and we could all answer uh, questions. So now everybody start at once, you know. <laughs> and let's see, Erin is, is going to help us out with. Yes, we have one a little bit uh, farther back from Laura Tellis, and it might okay. be one that's punted to Todd, actually, but Amory. Um, it was a question about the Slack channel, and is it the same one that was started at the summit, the SDC communities? Is it a variation of the same one? So if people have that invite, that be the similar thing, or still click on the invite. You're muted. You're right, I am muted. So it is not, <laughs> Laura, uh, it is not the same one. This was, this was derivative of one that actually Ben Welk had created uh, before. It is, there are a couple of other Slack channels, but those aren't kind of official SDC Slack channels. So you want to follow the one that's uh, in this presentation and the one that was sent out, I think that was a couple of weeks ago, that was sent out by the newsletter and email that went to all, all STC members. You'll want to join that one. The other ones are not, um, there may be some people participating in those, but that isn't one that STC is officially utilizing, utilizing at the moment. So there have been a few hey. over the years. <laughs> this, this is the real one. This is the SDC one that you know we just sent out. Recently. Okay, thank you, Todd. I'm I think Aaron, when we we send out the uh, the recording, perhaps we, um, you know, we can, well we can we can, we can include. It. Yeah, we can. All right, and then I have Laura's name, and then I can send her also the link. But we'll we'll see if we can send out that uh, Slack link. And and like Todd said, it is free. So you know, there's no fee to join. And it'd be good just to get used to it and get acclimated and see what's what. Okay, thank you. Oh yes, we can I can also do a copy paste of the Slack invitation in the chat window. We just had a couple people asking for that. We can do that. Yes. Okay. Um let's see. A comment from Mary Kay just to, to state the comment at Labacan, Jack Molisani told us we all wear capes, which is very true. I just wanted to state that for the good of the group. <laughs> uh, that's good. See, great minds think alike. We're all thinking of the capes. Well, I guess I have a question, and perhaps you could all. Um, so, oh, we have some from Bobby. Yeah, she had, and Mary Kay had a follow up saying the fellow is due November 2nd as well. And I think that was the same as Bobby. Oh, okay. For the same. Okay. Well, I was I was just going to say if you could perhaps type in. You know, we're always looking. We want to have relevant um, webinar programs. Is there a topic that you wish we would present on? If you could, you know, just type that into the channel, that would be great. Okay. Um, and for the question about the fellow, the application is the same as the fellow, is, is the same deadline as the associate fellow? You know, I will I will check on that one because uh, the committee chair for the associate fellow gave me only associate fellow information. And I don't want to um, say something that's not right. So I will find out what the deadline for the associate, uh, for, excuse me, for the fellow is. Great, we'll follow up with that. Yeah, that's a good question. Thank you. No, and as social media director, I can tell you that I will do my best to try to also send out reminders on Facebook and uh, and on Twitter. And uh, I think the society itself usually covers that on LinkedIn, but if they don't, I'll pop it in there just as a reminder too. Okay, good. Thank you. Because there are a lot of dates to keep keep track yeah. of. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Let's see. And I think Mary Kay had said that she had a question about the CAA form. Um, I don't see the follow-up question. I'm trying to see that. Did you have a specific question about the form or if it was something specific, um, perhaps Jamie can assist on that, correct? I can see, uh, what's the question about the CAA form? She said she had a question about the CAA form. Okay, uh, I can answer what I can, but what I don't, I can refer to our, our chair. Yeah, we can take it from. Yeah, and, and the application is available. Right. Yes, so you can say it that. is. Okay, so Lynette asked, are there efforts to standardize or subsidize tools available to chapters? Let's see. Yes, I, I think, and probably Todd could answer that too, but I, I think uh, Tim Esposito is uh, working on a um, task force, and they're looking at that sort of thing with um, websites and other ways that we could um, standardize our technology. Yes, I, I'll concur with that. I mean, Slack is one of the examples, though, of trying to consolidate and standardize on, you know, virtual communication and chat type functionality as well. So that's that's kind of one of the precursors for that. But yes, they are looking into trying to share some of those resources to standardize there. Yeah. So yeah, that is underway. So thank you for that question. And I see that Marianne has asked, yeah, Marianne, the DCSA, which is the Distinguished Chapter uh, Award, yeah, yeah and all, of, all of them are on um, November 6th, the, the, the chapter, the SIG, and the student chapter, yeah. Okay. And we can also share maybe the email to the CAC, the CAC email, if someone else has other particular questions or things that, you know, they want to follow up with. Yes, that's that's good. I was or just going just to say, I could put that anyone on the spot. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you can, you can go to our outreach chart and and put questions there or the, um, the email address on uh, on the website, or you can contact me, Anne Marie, at oh, excuse me, Anne Marie dot stc at gmail dot com. And our our uh, our website, uh, excuse me, the email is on on the website also. So I think that is uh, that is all the questions we have. Oh, and as an aside, I went back and looked for the fellow, and it looks like that deadline is nominations are due by the 1st of November, and it's on the STC site ah, under the know. member center and then under recognition and honors. You'll see the information for associate fellow and fellow. Okay, great. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you for that. All right. Well, again, I, I even though we don't have... Um, questions right now. We hope that the discussion continues and the questions continue. Again, we're here for you. Um, you know, please contact us. And thank you again very much for um, for joining us tonight. And everyone have have a good day, depending on the time or a good evening. And thank you. Thank you. Bye, Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thank, thank you. Bye.